Hi again, Josh with Northern Frogger here. Uh, today's video, I've got a couple of powder blue uh, tab holes that just hatched out, so I wanted to show you how I transfer those guys from the, the egg cups into the grow out cups. Okay, so on the right here, there's a couple freshly hatched tab holes ready to be moved. Uh, this was actually a clutch of eight eggs. Uh, the rest of them hatched out a day or two ago. These guys are kind of stragglers. And so all I do to move these guys out, I use a little plastic spoon here. And I just kind of gently slide the spoon up against them. And a lot of these, a lot of the time, these guys will actually help you out and crawl right onto the spoon. Just be careful there. See how he kind of wiggled himself right up there? And so he'll kind of hang on there. And this would kind of mimic uh, their behavior in the wild, uh, where when the tadpoles hatch, and the parents come and uh, basically pick them up. You saw in my other video of the tadpole being transported. So the tadpoles would kind of squirm back up onto the back of the parents and they use their mouths to kind of hang on until they get put into a body of water. I know some people use turkey basters to suck them up and transfer them. I find this to be a little less traumatic. I've done both ways and I prefer this way. Although the turkey baster method does work too. Um, but they'll kind of crawl right up there for you, and then I just gently dip them into the water there and let them swim away. So I'll do that with this guy too. A lot of times when they're newly hatched, I will put multiple ones to a cup. That guy crawl right on there for me. Um, and as they get bigger, I will transfer them to their own cups. I'm going to throw in another tiny bit um, of these leaves. I don't need a whole one. This stuff is pretty strong. It can really turn this water brown if you use too much of it. Um, but I do like having something in there, like these, this leaf litter. Um, it gives kind of something to for some uh, biofilm to grow on. Little microorganisms will start to grow on there as they uh, break down and uh, the tadpoles do seem to be do better with something like that in there. I think they feed off of uh, some of the organisms that kind of grow on them as they decompose. And then I do give them a little bit of food too. Mixture of fish foods mostly that I kind of put into this container. This is kind of, it's got some New Life Spectrum Grow. Um, fluval bug bites are in there. Hikari uh, vibrabite, vibrabites, just kind of all mixed together. Oh, and some, uh, uh, like algae, like spirulina, uh, pellets in there too. Try to give them a nice balanced diet. And for two little guys like these, I'll do just a little pinch. Some people say that you have to give them powdered food. Um, I don't find it necessary at all. Uh, if you do look at these guys up close, they do have kind of a rasping mouth on them. Um, so they can kind of just latch onto one of these pellets and chew away at it. And I find with the pellets, the water doesn't foul nearly as fast as if you use a powder. So I definitely like to go for the pellets. And these leaves will sink eventually too, as they soak up some water. And the tadpoles like to seem, seem to like to use them to hide under and chew on a little bit. Um, so that is basically all I do for those tadpoles. I'll also just use a bit of uh, like painter masking tape. So I do label them to keep track of where they came from, which pair they came from, and then the date that I took them out of the cups uh, so I know how long they're taking to develop. All right, guys, that's it for today. Just a short video. I just wanted to show you how I do that because uh, I don't think I've seen anybody else do it quite that way. Uh, it was just something I tried. I couldn't find my turkey baster actually one day. So I tried that spoon method and uh, just really liked how it worked. Like found they really just 
uh, will like climb right up there, or swim right up there for you, I guess. Um, so as long as you're careful not to pinch them or squish them against the edge of the cup or anything. Um, yeah, it works really well. And uh, in my mind, it, it really mimics uh, the natural behavior, how they would kind of be moved in the wild. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you next time. Happy frogging.